Hello and welcome to another segment of Love Revolution. I'm your host, Mia Sines, and with me teaching today will be Michaela Passeri. Now she has this amazing company that has shirts and clothing that are to inspire how you feel and to share with you how loved you are. And I'm going to ask her to do this. This is like spontaneous. Can you stand up and show us your shirt? Oh, yes. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? I love who I am. <laughs> It's really awesome, and I love I Thank love her work, and so um, I'm going to introduce you now. So this is Michaela, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Would you like to share with us? Talk to us. This is your classroom now, and we're we're excited. Everybody, take a moment and grab your notepads and your pens and your nice drink, even if you have to pause us for a second, mm -hmm. and then settle in with us and just. Relax, because we're here to just enjoy this moment of knowledge from Michaela. Well, um, as Mia said, I um, have an inspirational clothing line called Love You Revolution, because it's all about loving who you are. Your flaws, your imperfections, your talents and gifts, all of it comprises who you are, which is unique, perfectly imperfect, because nobody's perfect. Seeking perfection is just futile, <laughs> but we are perfectly imperfect. All of our imperfections make up who we are and our uniqueness. So the line is really uh, a tool. It's a tool to help you acknowledge those parts of you that maybe you have a little bit of uh, a dislike to and uh, hi highlight those parts of you that uh, you actually really love. So it's really about... Um, bringing acceptance and appreciation to all parts of you, even the not so good ones or nice ones. Uh, I personally, I can share my, um, my experience with my, you know, with my dichotomy of myself, right? Um, the shirt really was a tool for myself. It started as a, as a, as a tool for myself and my journey to self-love. And what I realized along the way and what this t-shirt actually helped me see was there was a part of myself that I really didn't like and was getting mirrored in a lot of different people as I went about my life, but didn't really quite hit me until I really started um, listening to the message, I love who I am. Well, who am I? You know, who am I? What, what comprises me? And... Um, one day I realized that there was a part of me that I just really didn't like. And it was, uh, I'm going to spell it because I don't think I can say it on um, online, <laughs> but it was the B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> you know, it was that part of me that I really didn't like, yet she came out a lot. She came out a lot and uh, it was a period of my time, where, of my life where I was really trying to find balance and trying to figure out who it is that I was. And as I allowed myself to be with the B-I-T-C-H within me um, and see what she was about and why she was showing up and uh, what was going on, I realized that she was really that part of myself that was there to protect me. She was going to bat for me. You know, she was there to fight the fights for me. So when I could see that part of myself as actually a constructive part of who I am, I was able to make peace and actually find compassion. So as I brought compassion to that side of myself that I didn't like and that I was having a tough time with, I was also able to release all the energy that maybe she was always trying to kind of battle for me. And uh, she doesn't come out as as often anymore, you know? Um, but it's, it was in that realization of, oh, okay, there's a side of me that mm, not too fond of. Why is it that she comes out and then f bringing uh, love and acceptance and compassion and also just bringing the awareness of, okay, why is this part of me? Why, why am I this way? 
what it is it about and uh, making peace with it. You know, it's really about that. So the T-shirt and the line is is just a tool that helps you kind of navigate the ebbs and flows of our personality, of our emotions, of our thoughts, of our beliefs, especially, you know. Our belief system is very, 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 um, you know, it's a, it's a foundation and it's, it's something that we get to look at as we do the work that we do. Um, so... Uh, the line is just really about, the work that I do is just really about um, saying I love you to those parts and, and then also exalting and standing for the sides of you, your, your, your talents, your gifts. What, is, what are you here to do? What, are, what do you do best? You know, who are you at the maximum of your capacity? And share that, be in your magnificent, magnificence. So it really kind of helps you bring awareness to those parts of you and uh, live in those on a daily basis every day. That's so cool. You know what I was thinking was, um, as you were talking, and I've known you for about four or five years, so it's we both watched each other evolve in our businesses. Yeah, we have. Yeah. And at times they, they enter, you know, they cross because we're both self-love uh, mm -hmm. teacher t people. And so... Um, what I really love about your shirts is that they, you know, we can do our inner work, which we do, and we can watch our thoughts, which we do, and we can recreate us to have a better life. But what you're doing with your shirts, and it just hit me now even more on a deeper level or on a conscious level, mm -hmm. is that you're putting out to the world, which is our sexual being, our human being, you're putting out there, I love who I am. So right there. Mm -hmm. Whoever wears these shirts knows and is expressing to the world, I'm great. Okay. I'm okay with me. Yeah. Um, almost and almost like don't F with me because <laughs> I'm okay, you know? So I love yeah. that. I and, just, and, it's, and it's really about, you know, unfortunately with all the messages that we're every day bombarded with from the media, you know, TV, our, our parents, right, our peers, were constantly given messages that we're not good enough here, we're not doing right there, you know, we're this, we're that, we're wrong here, we're right there. You know, we've got constantly these mixed messages. And sometimes it might be right, look, we're humans, we make mistakes. We are going to make mistakes and we're going to do things that sometimes aren't right. However, that doesn't mean that as a human being, we can't also do better, right? Do better, try better, be better. And so the message is really about, okay, I, I get that I'm flawed. I get that, that that's my humanity. I get that I'm flawed, but I am okay with all those parts of me because it makes me that unique being that I am. And it's also about being able to work then with bringing awareness to those parts of other people, right? Because when you're working with all the parts of you, you can then see those parts in other people and, ha and then have more compassion. When you're, you're talking about relationships, for example, you in a relationship, you can have more compassion for your partner, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your child, you know, it's, it's about also then recognizing all those parts and other people that then allows you to create better relationships and better human experiences and connections. I think what you just said has been my biggest growth with self-love is the compassion I have for other people. Yes. I've, I've you always, have to have compassion for yourself first. Yeah, exactly. I've always been a compassionate person, but there was a few people, family members, that I just, you know, I stayed clear of them, including my mother. And um, in the last several years, I've actually come back around full circle to love and embrace and see her in a different light, the woman that tormented me as a child, mm -hmm. you know, instead of being, you know, like you and I want to be the most supporting, loving mommies, you know. I know, and it's not <laughs> always possible. And I realized my mom wanted that too. She didn't have the tools. And so that was part of the coming around business of, of loving and appreciating someone because I'm enough and because I see my greatness, I can see and have compassion for her. That's a really good point that you that you brought up. Thank you. That's awesome. No, you're welcome. And and, and it's it's about also understanding that people are doing the best 
with what they know and with what they have. Mm -hmm. So like you said, your mom didn't have the tools, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So had she had the tools, maybe things would have been different. Mm -hmm. um, but not having the tools, she did the best with what she had and what she knew. doesn't condone certain things. It doesn't say certain maybe behaviors are okay. It just says people were all doing the best that we can with what we have and what we know. And having that awareness uh, for ourselves and for others is really what's going to make the difference mm -hmm. in our daily day uh, life and, and relationships, you know, because because we step out, we have relationship with everything, right? We're in relationship with the person at the grocery store. We're in the relationship with people as we're driving down the freeway, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're in relationships with the people that we know. So it's a constant, um, you know, just bringing that awareness and that kind of compassion and acceptance. So let me ask you, when you um, started designing your shirts, how many years ago was that? Did you start designing them five years ago, four and a half, five years ago? Yeah, yeah, about. I think that's what I thought I remembered. Uh, I believe it was uh, 2008 is when I first started sketching the I Love Who I Am t-shirt. Mm. Yeah. That's wonderful. And what have you seen with um, others who explore this idea of wearing their statement on their body what do they tell you because they must write you and say oh my god I had this reaction or I had that reaction yes I feel a certain way yes absolutely uh, I've had you know clients basically I've, I've had all sorts of reactions from oh my god I you know I love the message because it makes me feel good about myself uh, or um, I realized you know this about myself or uh, it's such a great message to just sport and remind myself of but I've also had uh, a couple of ladies who have come to me and say well you know I um, I bought your t-shirt but it's still sitting on my chest of drawers you know I haven't had the courage to wear it you know and so then that's a conversation it's like well why you know why what's why can't you wear it and it allows people to go deeper. It's like, well, I realize because of that shirt, I realized that I truly don't love myself. So if I were to actually wear the shirt, I would feel like a fraud. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to wear it until I can say I love who I am. Mm -hmm. So the T-shirt has actually been a cathartic tool for people to open up into loving oneself and to open up in the realization of wow I don't love myself and this is where I don't love myself I don't love myself in relationships I don't love myself maybe in um, business situations you know self-love is at, at the at the underneath everything right it's the current that kind of flows underneath all our icebergs so it shows up in how how we hold our boundaries how do we let people treat us? What we feel we're worth and what we ask for in a job. Um, how we treat ourselves, how we treat our, 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 our body. Are we eating, you know, organic, healthy food or are we exercising? You know, it's just, it's, it, it shows up in so many different ways, but it's underneath. It's that current that's underneath. Mm -hmm. So it just opens up that conversation with yourself. Mm -hmm. And... What's really great about the, sh the, the, the shirt especially, but the line is like, you don't need to go back to a class or, you know, uh, sign up for more things. You have that shirt that's hanging in your closet that you can wear every day. You can look at it in hanging or you can wear it. You have that and it's teaching you on a daily basis every day. Mm -hmm. You know, it's with you. Mm -hmm. It's a reminder. It is. So that's the great thing about tools like this that uh, you can tangibly really uh, hold with you and keep with you and use them on a daily basis. I think that's awesome. I'm going to put on my headset while we're talking just because I can hear myself echoing. Uh-oh. <laughs> what would be some, of the, um, some other tips or tools that people could use towards self-love that you recommend? Um, well, I could, 
um, I guess I could give you a couple, uh, especially around relationships. You know, um, I see this happening all the time, especially with with women in relationships. Um, it's about uh, how they hold their boundaries um, in relationships. So a tip would be when you are, whether it's a romantic relationship, a business relationship, a friendship relationship, um, and there and something is happening, you always want to check in. How is this making me feel about who I am? Does this take away from my self value? Or does this enhance my self value? You know, you know. I, I'm sure you've heard this, but maybe also our viewers um, in the personal development uh, world, we always say, "Okay, is this helping the greater good? Is it is it going to add to the greater good, or is it going to take away from the greater good?" Right? When we make decisions, mm -hmm. we look at, "Okay, is it taking away, or is it or is it providing value?" So if you take it from a kind of a broader perspective and you now kind of put it inwards, uh, you can ask that for yourself. Whenever you're in, in a relationship, uh, again, it doesn't have to be romantic, but mm -hmm. you're interacting and you're in relationship with somebody, um, you, ask, you can ask yourself, you know, is this taking away from my self-value, from the way that I perceive the value of who I am, or is it adding? And that question really helps women guide to make better decisions when it comes to relationship situations. You know, um, when we're talking about romantic relationships, you know, where you hold your boundaries, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how far you take it when you're first dating somebody, um, or how you want your partner to treat you, right? Uh, or to talk to you. So those are tools that you can use you can use that, you know, in romantic relationship. We're talking about, let's say, business relationship, and let's say you're, um, you know, you've been at a job and and you're going for a race. So how is it that you are going to interact with your boss and set your value and uphold your value in that interaction when you're asking for a raise or how you're going to negotiate, whatever it is. So it can really kind of show up in in a lot of different areas, but it's a, that question is really helpful. Like how is it, how does it make me feel as far as my self-value mm -hmm. goes? You know, is it taking away or adding to my self-value? Mm -hmm. That's a really, that is a very important question because when we look at ourselves and we take the time to evaluate this stuff like you were saying and also it goes back to not just to us but to the compassion for others when we're have our own boundaries in place we're not throwing off signals that are um, inappropriate or right unclear right yeah. exactly mm -hmm. yeah that's wonderful. and I think that uh, that a lot of us do that because we're we're mistaken we're mistaking attention, no matter what form it comes, with affection or love. Mm -hmm. And attention doesn't necessarily mean that somebody is caring about you or has your best interests at heart, mm -hmm. just because they're giving us a certain attention. You know, mm -hmm. So the, the, the having of the boundaries and asking that question then can really um, have you just really be attuned to to making the best choice for you and better choices in general. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now you have a, a store, you were showing me your, um, and we might take some video and insert it, um, you know, later on into this clip, but you were, um, you have a store, do you still have a store in LA? No, it was, I, I did a pop-up for a few months. Ah, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was cool. Yeah, it was a pop-up store for a few months, yeah. But. Yeah, that's awesome. So what are some of the, because there's people on here who would be interested in designing who are watching you. So share with us that aspect of what it's like to come up with your sketches and what is it like to actually get it from start to finish into production mode. Um, well, it always starts with uh, with really an inspiration, and I call them downloads. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but uh, it really starts with this inspiration of uh, a certain message that I feel 
called to share. Uh, most of them are related to life lessons that I've learned, you know, that I've been able to uh, go through and learn for myself. And I just want to share um, in service with people, you know, and say, okay, this is what's worked for me. And uh, maybe it'll work for you. Maybe it can help you. Mm-hmm. Um, so it starts with that. And then it's just about <clears throat> sitting down and sketching out how I would really want it to look like on clothing. Mm-hmm. The positioning, where would it look better? Where can people actually read it? Um, how is big somebody's yeah? Is it how is, big somebody's woman's boobs are so they can <laughs> actually read it? <laughs> uh, but but actually, it's like how big do I want the statement to be? How small? Yeah. Like, do, do I want it to be subtle? Do I want so all those things kind of go uh, are are take you know going to con- taken into consideration. Um, and then once I have the design, once I have design, just go to my sewers and um, have them make a pattern, make a sample, and tweak the sample if we need to, and you know source the fabrics and then go to production. Mm-hmm. And so the, the, your fabrics are incredibly unique. So, or not the fabric, but the pattern on the obviously on the on your clothing is is unique. So is that done at a different stage? After the shirt is prepared or before the shirt is prepared? Are you? What do you mean by the pattern? Are you talking like the shape of the? No, um, your design on there. So I love who I am, and, oh, and yeah. then okay. the art design. That's your the stuff, right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So that, yeah, that's done afterwards. After the piece of clothing is actually sewn, then we either, if if I decide to have it embroidered, I take it to the embroider. If um, if I decide to have it printed, I take it to the printer, then it gets printed, it gets packaged, ironed up, packaged, and uh, ready ready to be shipped out. How exciting is that yeah. to have your yeah. to have your product go from start to finish? Yeah. Do you get really it, totally it, excited? I do. It's actually one of the one of the funnest part <laughs> apart from teaching as well. And um, but it's it's just great. It's fun to go shopping for fabrics and and then seeing your creation, you know, kind of manifested into being at the end of the process. So it's great, you know. Anybody that's inspired to create anything, it doesn't necessarily have to be clothing. Anything, I would just say, go for it. Just do it, you know, and then find a way. Don't give up. Find a way to have it out there in the world and share it. Because that's, that's your gift, right? Exactly. And that's your talent that you get to highlight and share as you love what it is that you are. That's wonderful. Uh, would you like to share with us a little bit about um, what what you do with your clients? So, you know, it's, um, it's kind of unique with each person because I kind of tailor everything. Um, but it's really about just bringing compassion and acceptance to all parts of you and obviously we start with the parts that aren't that you're not so fond of Mm -hmm. (laughs) so we work with uh, bringing love and compassion to that and doing exercise experiential exercises um, around that and then um, once we really get a a, once I know that there's a really good solid foundation um, and strength that you know that somebody is strong in that self-worth and self acceptance then we we move on into um, exalting the the talents and the gifts and 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 having the person work in being in their magnificence more often than than not. Wonderful, that's awesome. And the clothes are obviously the clothes are always tools. So I use the clothes as tools as we go along um, through our work together uh, as something that they can continue to work on without me being So I don't necessarily have to be there all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. Would you like to share your free gift? Sure. So what I uh, decided to, to give away is a short video on a few tips on how you can be in self-love on a daily basis. So it's five tips to... Love yourself and others every day. And it'll be a short video, and then every person that obviously uh, chooses my free gift 
will get entered to win a free I Love Who I Am t-shirt. Awesome. So there's a gift within a gift. Yeah, and I think that everybody will sign up for that. That's awesome. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Michaela. It was wonderful. And I'm going to talk to you when we get off here about getting a clip so that we can add it into our footage because okay. we would love to see your work and show everybody. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Thank you for joining okay, us. Okay, thanks so much for having me. All right. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. See you all in another segment. Six years ago, at a time in my life where I felt beaten down, defeated, and no love for myself, I was walking down the street with my daughter and noticed a beautiful young girl sporting a t-shirt with a very disempowering message on it. My heart sank. Why would any woman wear something to demean herself? I surely didn't want my daughter to read or wear that. So I thought, someone should make t-shirts with positive messages that actually make you feel good. My name is Michaela Passeri and I created the I Love Who I Am line unknowingly as a tool for my own journey to self-love and empowerment and I'm raising money to expand the line to men and kids as a means to continue to offer the I Love Who I Am t-shirt and empowerment workshops at no cost to women in domestic violence shelters and children in schools. With over 15 years of experience in the fashion industry, I found myself in the midst of my own evolution and my own reinvention. And this is where I found that the I Love Who I Am t-shirt was not only a cathartic tool for myself, but also for the women that were buying it. And here is where I decided to offer the I Love Who I Am t-shirt for free through empowerment workshops to the women that needed it the most the women in domestic violence shelters. The mission is to empower one million women through one million I Love Who I Am t-shirts. The money will actually go towards producing the garments, uh, upgrading to organic fabric, upgrading some of the design elements like adding a pocket, um, adding cute buttons and tags, and um, the money will go to create also workshops and t-shirts for the women who will be attending our 2015 workshops. You might think right about now, well, why, why is she doing this? Why is this so important to her? Well, I might have not been physically abused. I didn't have a knife put to my throat. I wasn't locked up in a closet for days on end without food or water. I wasn't strangled, but I was bullied and I was emotionally and verbally abused by people who I loved. And I know that I do not want any woman to ever feel the way that I felt, nor the way that some of the women that I've met in the shelters felt. And so I feel this is my way to contribute. This is how I can contribute with a fun and unique tool, a t-shirt. The clothing line is a means to empower women all over the nation and in the shelters.